now. Ah, okay. I go back to floor eight. Yes, yeah, so we have to take the elevator to floor eight. Only because we have to get another part of the puzzle you cannot do on your first playthrough. Okay, that was lucky. I could have sworn that would have that Yule would have saw me. Dang it, I almost get hit. I swear. Okay. So we gotta go in here. Ah, oh, let's run the corner there. Maybe, just maybe sneak by. Much? You have two? Repair patch over there? It is. And shotgun ammo. Let's see what else we got in here before we do anything. We got like a dead storage. Oh, not good. Got two of them. Whatever in there is really bad. Pop through here, pop through here. Reset them. We don't want an attention of those. Whatever's in there, we don't want the attention immediately. Am I far enough now? Yeah, okay. Okay, there's something in this room that's, uh... How close can I get? Not good. What is it? Oh, it's two tolls. Okay. That sucks. Oh, we might have to fight those. Hmm. I think we have to fight those. Only have six bullets, though. That's done prod. I get close enough to this. No. Okay. Is anything different in that? Not really. Oh, that's okay, because I can come back up here. back. I have that. I can pick up more ammo. We're not going to need those stun prods. Oh, I'm full on ammo. 12 is the maximum. Okay, so two magazines is the maximum. Oh, yeah, we're going to need that. 
Okay, back here for the fifth time. Try that again. You're almost at it. That. Reload. We gotta run over here quick. No, that's probably the end of it. How much ammo do I get left? Five. No, I can do it. Oh, okay. Oh, I did not like that at all. We're not gonna use that though. Oh, what do we got? Replica overview storage STCR. The, I can't read any of that. Control replica storch. Security technician controller replica stork. Ah. Type. Generation 5 combat lead unit. Frame. Biomechanical with polyethylene shell and bullet resistant armor plating. Height 240 centimeters. Each cadre of protector security technicians is overseen by the controller unit. The most common of which is the STCR stork type. One of the tallest replica models thanks to their extended legs. Storks figuratively and literally keep a constant bird's eye view of any situation, ready to direct and coordinate their assigned security technicians. Their tough, no-nonsense demeanor, though sometimes described as brutal and even cruel, makes them the perfect fit as unwavering sentinels of order. Okay. Lock is defective. Basically, I got three. Yeah, I was going to say, this is a place I don't want to have to come back into. Yeah, because those... I think that the, the shield ones are stars, I believe, and they destroyed the, uh... Storks, looks like. Did not pick up that yet. Oh, that's different. Okay, I'll take that. Air sprays, cool. That pistol ammunition will be the last one, looks like. But, to get what I need, I have to do... I can't go through that door anyway. Like I said, I get what I need. I have to go here, turn this on, and tune this to 65. Key of Eternity, yes. A. Okay. Key of Eternity, are you still looking for answers where there are only questions? Hmm. There's nothing but heartbreak at the end. It's down here. Uh oh. My light broke. Cool. Pick up that ammo. Oh, it only refills the whatever I have. Okay. Um. Let's do the big repair spray. Get up to full health for once in a while. Ara. Oh, it's you. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be done in the mine? Your flashlight? Let me take a look. Try it now. Ah, fixed it. Thanks. Can you believe this? All these files. I think they know us so well. So much talk about persona and stabilization. 
In the end, they just want us to shut up and work until we die. What a joke. What do you mean you don't remember me? Did you hit your head? I'm staying here. No chance I'm ever going back to work. Yeah, nothing else, huh? Okay. Looks like some type of warmth, I guess. Probably pretty much set up here. Some type of warmth. Bamboo plants thriving under a grow light. That works. What's this? Operational procedures control. Commander... Oh, this is different. Classified information commander eyes only. Aeon guideline 176 for the deployment of operational procedures. Operational psychology. In order to reliably protect the safety of our nation, Eon must develop and deploy procedures and technologies to maintain complete control over all replicas in service of the nation. Just like with consults, procedures involving operational psychology are highly effective for behavior control of replicas. The primary advantage of replicas over consults is predictability. All newly developed replicas of a model are virtually identical both physically and psychologically. As they all share the same memories under the same circumstances, a newly developed Yule unit will practically always react in the exact same way. However, as soon as a unit encounters new situations, it will begin to deviate from the original pattern. In some cases, this may lead to the unit being less efficient for its intended purpose. This is called persona degradation. Using a wealth of private information about the life of the Gasult each neural pattern is based on allows us to ensure optimal uniform post-deployment development of each unit. In simpler terms, our primary objective is the focused manipulation of the individual to ensure they remain as close to the original pattern as possible, and thus productive, loyal, and docile for as long as possible. This is called persona and stabilization. Stabilization can come in many forms and usually takes on the form of regular activities or fetish objects that distract and calm the replica. Until the development of battle resonance technology that allows wide-scale direct behavior control, methods of operational psychology will still remain the most reliable way to control both replicas and assaults in the interest of the protection of national security. Ah, so basically, mind control. They're not really fully broken when they're decommissioned. They're just not optimal. Okay, so they're just going to sit here and read their stuff. I don't think that's heat. That's like running lights or something. Urgency. Okay, got what we needed. We never need to come back to this nightmare ever again. Hopefully. I actually got up to full health? No, even with the large repair spray, I didn't get up to full health. That's insane. Okay. Okay, so the key, we need to go up and drop off our stuff. Yeah, I wasted almost all the ammunition. Let's see. Piano hallway, north hallway. I could get through with this. Maybe not. Ooh, barely. Maybe not thread the needle. There's gonna try to thread the needle. I gotta run. Don't hit me. Okay. Ooh. Now it's pretty much home free. All right. Um, I don't know what's down in that thinking cave. Mine. So we have shotgun will hit more. We don't need the spray. 
flashlight just in case. And then we need the admin key. Hopefully this is enough. Okay, let's see what is down in the mine. See, so yeah, this we just have to go down the elevator, or that elevator, the uh, ladders, because it's literally right on the other side of the door. Yay, home free. Okay. Use administrator's key. Is there anything interesting other than this massive elevator? It's the mineshaft access elevator controls. If she is still alive, she is probably there. Take the elevator to the mine? Yes. Luminati. I know you're here. I've done this countless times before. You don't belong here. Ah, stack up on him. Cyclus? Okay. Let's try the right here first. Oh, can't go through that way. And no map to go on. Okay. And you can't go back up, obviously. Look the wall. That's the door to somewhere. Okay, let's look the left. What? Right wall. Oh, wow. High power mining lasers. They're too large and heavy for me to use. Looks like it. They're two times the size of you, pretty much. Okay, nothing over here. Just lasers, huh? Okay. All that. Ah, nanofilament fiber. Diameter two nanometer average. Handled with care, risk of death. And a fiber will effortlessly cut through limbs and equipment in an instant. Always wear protective clothing. Do not touch monofiber without proper protective gear. Only handle in brightly lit places. Which this is not. Of course. Wonderful. Same deal? Don't want to alert anything. Oh. Hello, Mina. Ah, oh, hello. You're not a protector, are you? What brings you here? I'm Bayo. If you're down here, you're probably looking for something. And help you, but one of my hydraulics failed, and I can't move. 
I'm pretty much done for, so you can just leave me here. There's no point in repairing an old unit like me, so don't worry about it, okay? It'd be a waste of resources. I'd offer you my mining laser, but I don't think your frame could supply the power output. Pretty much. Probably better off using a gun. There should be some useful equipment in the mining office, just south of here. Don't worry about me, there are many replacements. We're just replicas after all, right? In the end, what's one drop to the ocean? When I die, they'll just make another. Hmm. Thank you for talking to me. I hope you find what you're looking for. Okay then. Lux is defective. Oh shoot, that sucks. That's defective too. That means the only way to go is down here. Ah, safe spot. MNHR. Mining, nuclear tech, high security replica mina. Fire gun. Sure. Pick up signal flare shells. Sure. Flare gun, a signal shot gun for firing 26.5mm emergency signal flare cartridges at incinerate targets. Oh. LP265A. Lukechon pistol, I can't even pronounce that. While not meant for combat, can be used to set enemies on fire, incapacitating them and dealing a large amount of damage over time. Ah. Okay, so it's like that, um, thermite flare thing, but in a gun form. 26.5 millimeter emergency signal flare cartridges for use in a flare gun. Burn bright red for a short amount of time after delay. 26.5 x 80 millimeter flares hit hard enough to embed themselves in soft targets. Burn hot enough to melt replica armor and incendiary enemies. Oh. So they're really good, okay. But I don't think we need those yet. See, what's this? Melina's Diary 3. It's worse than I thought. Everyone has disappeared. I still haven't found any traces of Elster. It's as if she had never been here. Something's wrong with the protectors. Those that are still around. A guard spotted me earlier, sneaking out of the medical wing, and she let out a monstrous scream as she chased after me. When I looked back, I saw her face, and now I can't forget. It looked like she'd been in some horrible accident. See, they all look like that now. 